5G is going to be a lot of things. Uh, most importantly though for a consumer, expect exceedingly high throughput than you see today. So throughput measured in tens of gigabits per second. Very low latency, single digit latency, which means the response time uh, from your request to the action you get from the network will be much shorter than it is today. Uh, and expect a network that can handle the ability to uh, to accommodate multiple millions and possibly billions of machine-to-machine -machine connections. So if you think you want to take a practical example, um, let's think about the Game of Thrones catalog. So there's five seasons of Game of Thrones, uh, roughly 10, 10 episodes per season, probably around 500 megabits, uh, megabytes of storage per, per show. Um, today, download that entire catalog, probably take well over an hour. And that's at roughly 50 megabits per second on LTE, which you see today quite a bit. Uh, with 5G, when you start to measure tens of gigabits throughput in that scenario, you're downloading that entire catalog in under a minute. When you look at the range of uh, opportunities that are created by throughput measured in gigabits in a wireless environment, the opportunities are almost limitless. So we expect a lot of innovation to occur once that network foundation is set. Uh, that'll open up new use cases um, and new customer scenarios that we can't really even envision today. At some point in time, absolutely, you'll need a 5G phone. Um, uh, and that's part of the evolution of wireless technology overall. Um, as networks are built, technology is developed, then the ecosystem as a whole flourishes and you get 5G phones, you get 5G devices, you get 5G routers. Um, you'll see Internet of Things connected devices that rely on 5G as well. What we're doing at Verizon here is pushing that envelope very, very hard. Um, and we want to advance that ecosystem rapidly. Um, we're doing field technical trials right now uh, at locations all around the country and we want to see that brought to market over the next couple of years. Indoor coverage is a function of solid design um, and 5G being no different than really any other technology is when you want to cover an area, you have to have good sound uh, engineering principles to get RF to that location. So when you think of indoor coverage with 5G, um, as the operators deploy uh, 5G technology uh, at Verizon, we deploy coverage for inside of buildings from the inside of the building. Um, 5G will use some of those very same principles um, and it will also allow coverage from outside to inside. You know, can you develop a broadband service at a cost point that's incredibly efficient both for the operator and the customer? And that's what we're trying to figure out right now.